Hey everyone, we are diving into a new Illustrator tutorial today. Today we are going to be talking about artboards. And when I learned this little trick, or let's say when Adobe implemented this little trick, it has been um, a golden little nugget of useful information. So I want to pass that on to you today because I don't know if you know or not, but in the newer versions of Illustrator, I want to say six and above, um, you can create multiple artboards. So we're going to start at the very beginning and I am creating a new document. If you can see in the background here, this is a redraw um, project that I have going on for one of my clients. I need to, or I am vectorizing this artwork for them. So that's fun, but we are talking about artboards. And um, okay, so when you do a file new document is when you initially create your artboard or art boards. And let's say that we are doing social media graphics which this is one of the main times that I use multiple artboards. Um, and I usually do social media graphics at five inches by five inches. So they're square. Um, they don't need a bleed. And since they are screen, we do RGB. But here is the cool thing. The first, very first thing you need to know is okay so let's say that I'm setting up my social media um, graphics for the entire month of September so I don't necessarily want to just create one I might post I don't know we're all different but let's just say that I want to make up 10 different quotes to post on social media in the month of September so if you look over here on right next to orientation of your artboard it says artboard or it says artboards and it what it's asking you is how many artboards do you want to create within one document so instead of one I know that I'm gonna do at least 10 so I'm just gonna click the arrows and I'm gonna bump it up to 10 and I'm gonna hit create well oh wait I don't want 300 I want screen 72 so then I'm going to hit create, <coughs> excuse me, and of course my computer is slow because it knows that I'm recording and it's going to take a couple seconds here to create my artboards for me, but let me tell you, okay, so here we go. We have 10 5x5 five five artboards all within one Illustrator document, which phew, is mind blowing because now instead of saving 10 different separate Illustrator documents, you can have 10 designs saved all in one. So I love that feature. But let's let's dig into a few more details so if we go over to our tool palette over here on the left hand side our artboard tool is down towards the bottom second from the top on the left and we're gonna click on it and if we click on it it should highlight an artboard for us which it's just highlighting the first artboard and if we click on it when we're when we have our art board tool selected we can move it around not really sure what the purpose of that would be um, but whatever I just want you to know that your art board is movable and it's also changeable you can change the size just by clicking in the corner and dragging but I want to keep my art boards all the same size so um, another cool trick is, let's say, okay, 
We are going to do a new document. And this time, let's say we're going to set up a flyer. So we're going to make it 8.5 by 11. I'm not really going to worry about the rest of the stuff. I just want to simulate a scenario. 8.5 by 11. We, um, oh, I guess we don't need 10 of them, but hold on. 8.5 by 11, but... Ooh, this time we only need one because our client just wants a one-sided flyer. So let's say that we design our entire flyer and then, oh, the customer comes back to us and says, well, I have some additional information that I want to add. Let's do it. Let's make it two-sided. So we have our design and then they want to add a second side. Hey, you know what? No problem. We hit our artboard tool. We click on our artboard. We do a shift, control, and an alt. And we duplicate our artboard. So now we have, in essence, a two-sided flyer. So that is one of the amazing parts about artboards. And I'm going to talk here for a second because one of the other... Um, really common uses that I use multiple artboards for is when I am designing um, let's say a business card. Sometimes business cards are two-sided, sometimes they're one. But if they're two-sided then you have two artboards and you have the entire um, business card file saved in one file. Same with ebooks. I use multiple um, artboards when I design ebooks. I use multiple artboards when I design website graphics. So instead of, you know, each icon or each uh, custom banner saved as a different file, I have all of my editable website graphics in one document and then I can export them for screens using this command file export for screens and if I had 20 artboards each and every artboard would show up here as an individual file so that's another benefit um, let's go to the artboard palette artboards <coughs> so right now I only have two artboards so that's what's listed but Let's go back to my document that has 10 artboards and my artboard palette has 10 artboards. Now it defaults to the name of artboard 1, artboard 2, artboard 3, whatever. But the cool thing is that you can name these. So let's say that I created all these artboards and each one has a different quote on it for social media. So in my artboard palette I would click and double click and I would name it quote number one. Um, quote two. So then I, and I would go through all of these artboards and I can name for those of you that are super organized and right-brained, you would go through all your boards and you would name them according to what art is on the board. Because then, when you go to File, Export, and let's just say we're doing Export for Screens, then you see in our Export for Screens, your artboards are labeled Quote 1, Quote 2, whatever you name them as. And then when you do actually export them, the name of your artboard becomes the name of your file. So it's like saving 100 milliseconds of time because when you t take the time to type in and name your artboard, you also, in essence, create the time to name your file and it saves a load of time in the very end.
So, let's see, where did I... So when you do an export for screens, and I exported... Let's see, I just want to see where this is named, so then I can go in and show you. Okay, so let's just change this to my desktop for time-saving purposes. And we're going to hit export. And then it should pop up and show us. Of course, it didn't because I'm recording a video. But anyway, when you do an export, it saves the name the file name becomes the same name as the artboard. So that's what you need to know. And you, again, using the artboard tool, you can select any artboard that you want. You can rearrange it. You can close this so it's out of my way. You can drag any part of it and resize it. So there's just so many handy ways that multiple being able to use multiple artboards comes in handy. Like I said, business cards, two-sided business cards, two-sided flyers, ebooks. Um, what else do I use it for? Anything that has multiple sides. Um, I just did a whole collection of um, greeting cards for one of my clients. And instead of making, you know, separate files for graduation card, expectant mother card, um, a friendship card, I just set up multiple artboards and I designed all the cards within one file. So, you know, I didn't have to waste time saving separate files. I didn't have to waste time reopening five different files. They were all contained into one file, just multiple artboards. So I just want to make sure that you know that I am fully on board and that I use all the time the multiple artboard feature within Illustrator. So any questions, any comments, um, feel free. Let me know down in the comments. Um, also, make sure if you have time to check out my Illustrator resource guide, Photoshop resource guide, um, all packed with loads of helpful tutorials um, to help you on your journey of mastering Adobe Illustrator. Until next week, have a great one.